Hi, this is John on the dual credit team at Ivy Tech coming to you today to show you how to register for college-based classes through Ivy Tech through your Student My Ivy account. It is important to distinguish between your high school-based dual credit classes, which are registered through dualenroll.com, and your college-based classes. If you're signing up for a class directly through My Ivy, uh, you'll be signing up for an Ivy Tech class, either online or on campus. So you'll get started by logging into your My Ivy account. If you need help setting up your My Ivy account, see the video linked in the description below. If you know your email address from Ivy Tech, but you've forgotten your password, you can reset that using the link here. If it's your very first time setting up My Ivy, use the first time here button below. When you log in, My Ivy looks a little bit different these days, but to register for classes, it's really easy to find the schedule builder, which is right front and center here. You can also click the heart next to Schedule Builder if you'd like, and now you can see it shows up in your favorites menu right over on the side here. So we're going to click into Schedule Builder. It will open it up for us. It may have you log in using your Ivy Tech information one more time if you haven't set this up yet. So again, that's your Ivy Tech email and your My Ivy password. So the first thing you'll do is choose the term. It will only show you terms that are currently available. So you could choose summer or fall in this case. Save and continue will have you select your campus. The online only option will be defaulted as checked. You can leave that there and then you can also check your local campus. Save and continue again at the bottom. It will prompt you each time to verify that your address is correct and up to date. So you can use the click here link to see what information we have in your, our system. Once you verified that's correct, you can click my address is correct below. It will also have you read through the COVID-19 instruction methods acknowledgement, letting you know our current policy related to COVID-19. Once you've read that, you can click the I acknowledge button. Lots of things going on on the Schedule Builder site, so we'll work through those currently one by one. So the course status right now is currently showing open and full classes. So we can change that. If we only want to see classes that are open for registration, we're going to check that one. Save that, that will only show us classes that are available for us to register for. We've already chosen our campus. We have two selected, the online and the South Bend Elkhart campus, but you can change that if you'd like to. The instruction modes will let you know what instruction modes are available for that term. Currently, they're all selected, but we'll look at these one by one. So traditional classes are gonna be those that are on campus in a traditional classroom environment. They're face-to-face, -face, so generally be a couple times a week, but it does depend on the course format. So you need to come to campus to complete those classes. Online only classes are purely online classes. They don't have a physical classroom meeting and they do not have a virtual classroom meeting. Content will be available in our Ivy Learn system. You will log in throughout the week to complete the material. There are discussion boards and other ways to interact with your classmates and your instructor, but there is not a live or virtual way to sit in a classroom. Blended online, or blended traditional are a blend of those two things. You'll spend some time on campus and you'll spend some time online. Obviously, primarily online will be that. Primarily traditional will be on campus with some online elements. Our Learn Anywhere format is the most flexible option that we have available. And that means that you can register for a class that will meet on campus. You can come to campus if you'd like to. If you prefer not to come to campus, you can live stream the class during the class time and participate in lectures in a live format, or you can come in at a later date and watch the recorded lecture to get the content you need. Either way, there will be content available for you to complete online for any of the virtual uh, or traditional models. Our last option is the virtual instruction, which means that there is a class that meets, but it's gonna be a virtual class. You'll participate via Zoom. So you'll need to have access to a laptop at a particular time during the week to Zoom into the class to get the content you need. So we'll go ahead and leave those all checked and we'll save this here. You can also choose the term. So if you need to change the term, you could change that here. And you can also narrow it down by the parts of term. So we'll choose that and you can see there's a variety of parts of term available. Some of these only apply to certain specialized classes. The ones that are gonna be most common is either a 16 week class, that is a full semester class. This is the fall semester. So we would have some full semester classes available or the first eight weeks or the second eight weeks. 
So our semesters are divided into two halves. Some classes might run only for the first half and some might run only for the second half. So that is a particularly helpful option if you have extracurricular activities like band or sports teams, orchestra, things like that, that might take up part of your semester, but the other part of your semester might be more available for you to take classes. So we're gonna leave just a couple of these checked and see what is available for all semester and then in each of the eight weeks. Go ahead and save that parts of term. And then the next thing you could do is actually choose your classes. So we're gonna click the add course button. You could search by a couple of things. You can choose the subject and course, or if you have a course ID number or a course reference number, you can click this and type that in to find that class directly if you've been provided a course reference number by your school staff. For now, we'll just search by subject. We will, you can either scroll through the list or you could start typing and it will prompt the correct subject. So in this case, we'll choose a business class and the options will pop up here. We'll start with just 101. So when you choose the class, it will show you the prerequisites that are required for the class, and it will give you a brief catalog description as well. If you want to check that out, verify that that is the class you're looking for. If that is the correct one, then click Add Course, and you'll see it pops up over on the right-hand side here for you. I'm going to add one more course. Let's add a design course because I want to check out a Design 101 class. Same thing. It'll give you the prerequisites. In this case, there are none. It'll give you a description, and we can add that course to our list. Now, once you have the courses that you need to register for, click the done button. It will take you back out to your schedule. There's a couple of things that we wanna to do to narrow things down just a little bit. Next to the class itself, you can click this gear icon that says sections. When you click into that, it will give you all the available sections for the term and the time frame that we've chosen. So the first thing you wanna do is uncheck all the arrows because we're certainly not gonna register for all of these. This will give you a lot of information. It will tell you the instructor in the class. It will tell you the time the class meets. In this case, this looks like it is an on-campus class. You can see here it's a blended traditional, so it's going to be on-campus and online. So it tells me it meets Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 a.m. to 1020 a.m. at the South Bend main campus in room 220. So a lot of information in that description. You can see the dates here are August 19th through October 12th. So that tells me it is a first eight weeks class. It goes the first half of the semester. And again, it's on South Bend campus over here. Also lets you know how many spots are available left in the class. I have 10 spots open, so that's plenty to look at. You can see there is another class available that is a blended traditional class. And plenty down here, if they're marked as WWW, that means they are an online class. So purely online classes if they have the WWW marked. You can also see some of these do indicate if it's a first eight weeks and it will indicate that it is an online class. Now you may have some options available that say instead of on campus with a room designation, they may say virtual. So you could scroll down here and see if there's any available in a virtual format. And there's one down at the bottom. So VRT South Bend means it's a virtual class is running out of South Bend campus. The no room also tells us it's virtual. So it does meet at a particular time on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the evening, 5.30 p.m. to 6.50 p.m., but it's going to be live streamed via Zoom. So you could do this one from the comfort of your home. So you'll want to scroll through this list, find the format that works for you, make sure it's the right part of term. You can narrow the part of term if you need to under the filters we looked at. And then when you finally found a class that you'd like, Go ahead and check the box next to that one. We'll just choose an online class for Business 101. Scroll down to the bottom and click Save and Close. I've done that for my business class. I'm going to do the same for Design 101 just to check out what the options are there. So I can see in this case, there is only one class available in Design 101. It's on Monday and Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 9.50 a.m. It does meet in person, South Bend Main Campus on room 169. So this does let me know it's also a streaming live class. So that tells me it's probably a learn anywhere class. I would have the option to come to campus or I would have the option to stream that via a Zoom meeting. I've decided I don't want to take this class because of the time frame. It just doesn't work well for me. So you can uncheck that and save and close. And then go ahead and click generate schedules down below.
So this will show you that Design 101 does not have any available sections. So that just means I need to uncheck Design 101 here and then generate my schedule again. So now, since I've narrowed my selections, it should only give me one schedule that's available. If you hover over the magnifying glass, it would pop out and show you what that schedule looks like. Since Business 101 is an online course, it doesn't have anything indicated. And I'm gonna click the View button next to this, and I'll come back in here. It will show you a larger graphic. If you had an in-person class or an online uh, virtual class, sorry, it would show you exactly when that class met. But again, Business 101 is online, so there's not an actual schedule. But it gives me the details again, I could double check if that is accurate. Of note here is that the status currently is not enrolled. So this means I have not yet registered for this class. It is just on my schedule for right now. To actually register for class, we're gonna send this to the shopping cart. Always look for the green buttons up here at the top. So click that. It will give you a chance to review that one more time. It's now in my shopping cart. To register, I come over to the top right and I click the green register button. It will let you know about your financial responsibility acknowledgement. So in this case, you are generating a tuition bill when you accept registration of the class. So you wanna make sure you understand how payment of your tuition will be covered. So we're gonna click accept there. It asks me to confirm one more time that I wanna register for this class and I can click continue. If there is an issue with the prerequisite, you might see something like this. So this is gonna tell me that I don't yet meet the prerequisite for this class. In that case, I'd have to go back and I want to edit my cart and I want to take that class out of there until I know I meet the prerequisite for that particular class. I can head back to my plan schedule. And in this case, if I wanted to switch over to Design 101, I could do that. I want to make sure I check that class. So I'm going to check Design 101 instead now since I didn't meet the prerequisite. And the same process. You can come through. We're going to send to the shopping cart and we're gonna register. You can see on my schedule now, since this is an in-person class, it actually hangs out on my schedule. There's no prerequisite for Design 101. So when I click through here, I acknowledge those things. It's gonna go ahead and process that, that enrollment and it's gonna give you this message. So this is really important to look for to ensure that you have registered for that class. So it tells me I'm successfully registered for my Design 101 class. When you click OK, it'll take you back to your schedule but this time under the status icon, you see it says enrolled. So make sure that you make it all the way through registration. If need be, you can come back in and drop this class before the start of the semester. It's really important that you only drop the class prior to the start of classes, or you may still be responsible for the tuition if you drop after a certain deadline. So you can find our drop deadlines on our Ivy Tech website, and I will link to that in the description below. If you need to drop a class, you can click the edit and drop button. Come in here, it'll let you know what your status is. In this case, I'm gonna select web drop if I wanna drop this class and save that. So again, it's gonna confirm that information. It's gonna let me know I've successfully made my change to Design 101. It's gonna take me back to my schedule and I see that there's no classes in my shopping cart. I'm good to go from here. All right, to actually find your courses back in my Ivy, it's important that you know where your classes are hosted. You will wanna make sure that you're checking your student email. I recommend you make that a favorite as well, although it lives right on the homepage. So if there are any updates to your course prior to it kicking off, they will come to your Ivy Tech student email. You'll wanna make sure to set that up. If you already have a Gmail client set up on your device or your computer, you'll have to add your Ivy Tech email address to your Gmail client. So when you click through here, it will launch Gmail, but it may prompt you to add your Ivy Tech account. So make sure you do that so you can sync it up with your Gmail account. Your classes will actually be hosted right here front and center in our Ivy Learn. So that's another one that's a good one to put in your favorites menu. Ivy Learn is our version of Canvas. So when you click through there, your classes will be loaded in here and hosted through Ivy Learn. Your class won't show up in Ivy Learn until 48 hours before the class begins. So that's important to know. Generally, it will show up here on your dashboard as a series of tiles if you have more than one class. You may have different announcements and things like that up here as well that you can X out of. But you'll have a course tile that will show up below here with all the information you need for classes. It will also show up if you click on your courses menu, you will see that class under your courses menu. Your calendar menu will show you the due dates for all your assignments related to class. 
Anything related to your class will be here. It will be color coded based on the class and we'll help you plan out your schedule to make sure you have access to all your assignments. You can see and plan out your semester. The inbox here in Ivy Learn is a very specific inbox that is related to your classes only. So in my Ivy, your Gmail account, your student email is all things Ivy Tech. In Ivy Learn, your inbox is just related to your courses. So you could choose your particular course up here and narrow it down to just a certain class if you'd like to. You do have a variety of resources available in the resource link as well. That includes things like your Ivy Tech help desk, that includes Ivy Tech tutoring services, and a variety of other options to help you ensure that you can be successful in your classes.